This is a powered payoff unispooler. It's uh, intended for applications where you have a very large and heavy payoff spool uh, that can weigh up to 100 pounds uh, with a fine wire or filament on it that you want to re-spool uh, with low tension, which can be difficult if you have a heavy spool. You don't want to pull on the wire too hard or you'll just stretch the wire or even break it. So this machine works by having a uh, motorized payoff. You can see the motor on the back side of the payoff shaft, and that's a 30 millimeter shaft on there. It'll support a 100 pound load. And there's also a motor inside the take-up section that will be coordinated with the payoff motor and also maintain, maintain tension uh, pretty low. It'll get down to about 50 grams of tension, even lighter if need be. Uh, now this machine here is set up to wind from one heavy spool uh, back onto another big one. It'll hold 100 pounds on the take-up side as well. But the take-up can be set up for smaller spools. So you can go from you know very large to small. And that shaft might be a, a 15 millimeter, 20 millimeter, or even 10 millimeter for very small spools, but winding onto it with light tension. We've even had bare fiber optic wire on this and it's got no problem winding that without damaging it. Uh, so other than that, it's pretty typical of our machines. It's got a, an adjustable traverse on the take up side where you can adjust the pitch of the winding as well as the uh, turnaround points to match the flange of the spool right there. And that can all be done on the fly without stopping the machine. We track length and the system will stop automatic automatically at a desired length. Uh, looking at the control panel, this one takes a little more coordination than our standard unispooler. You've got separate control for the payoff motor and the take-up motor. Uh, when you're in auto mode, it kind of handles those things automatically, but in manual mode, uh, you have to keep in mind what you're doing. It's, it's easy to do, but uh, you uh, have to start the motors up in the correct sequence. So looking at this, you know, we have our length readout here. You can set a stopping point right there, and here we have our tension on the take-up section right there. <clears throat> and that readout is not actual units of any sorts, it's milliamps, and that's the amount of current going into an internal clutch inside the take-up section. So right now I'm gonna keep it in manual mode, and I'll start it up the way to do that. As the instruction says, when starting, start the take-up first. When stopping, stop the payoff first. Uh, and by the way, we're actually not winding wire, this is a uh, fishing line. So it uh, stretchy stuff which you don't want to pull on too hard uh, so it's a, a good application for this machine. So again I'm going to start my take up motor first you can hear the motor spinning internally inside <laughs> but, the, but the spool isn't turning because our payoff isn't turning yet so it's just slipping at the tension that we set. I can even pull back on the on the filament and you can see the take up spool trying to turn it and it will turn when I uh, give back some but it, it doesn't resist too hard to my pulling and I can adjust that pulling force here on the, uh, the tension knob. So now that our take up is turning I'm going to start my payoff spool slowly and the take up just automatically synchronizes with that because it's ready to go all along so you can see her running getting a nice wind on there I 
I'll speed it up a little bit. Give it some more speed on the take up. And then just speed up my payoff a little more. So to stop, all I have to do is turn my payoff speed down. It says when stopping, stop payoff first. So I'll do that. Just turn that all the way down. And now I can turn my take up down. Okay, we'll do a quick test in auto mode. I'm going to switch over. We're set for 32 uh, feet on here. I'm going to reset my counter to zero. And same thing, give it some take up speed. And then gradually start your, your payoff. But now that we're in auto mode, the system should stop when it hits 32 feet. So I'll monitor it. We're at 22 feet, 25 feet, 28 feet. There's 32. So you can see it actually stopped at uh, 33.51 feet uh, because it doesn't begin to, sh to stop until you hit your, your set point. Uh, so let's see. Let's do it again. I'm going to turn my payoff down. Just... Hit reset. I can turn my payoff pay off up again. And you'll see it's pretty repeatable to within a, uh, a foot or two. Thirty-three point four seven. Not bad.